Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to remotely access to your Mac machine um, using a mechanism of the Apple Remote Desktop. By saying mechanism, we are not really using the Apple Remote Desktop application because it is not free and it is being, sell, being sold by um, Apple for um, almost $80. So for those guys who like to do it Apple way, just please buy it. But today we are going to use the underlying mechanism of the Apple Remote Desktop which um, comply with the VNC access. All right, let's not get into that deep technical terms, but open your system preference, go to sharing, and from there, unlock your setting. Type in your password, um, go to the remote management, make sure you check and enable it. And from here, you can control who can access to your computer. Let's say um, only for this account, for this user, and go to option. Check every box that you think makes sense um, to allow this user to do with your computer remotely. And OK. And the most important step is to click on the computer setting and go with this. You need to check the VNC viewer may control scheme with password and enter your desired password that you will be using to access to, uh, to your machine. And okay, this is done with the setting. And we go with the download of the clients which is called Chicken of the VNC. It is open source, so imply you don't have to pay for any bugs. Uh, in my case, I have da already downloaded, and um, and here it is the icon of the application Chicken of the VNC. Once you open it up. Um, It will ask you to specify the address of the machine you are going to connect. In our case, um, we'll do connect to our own machine, which is strange way of doing it. Usually you will sit in some wells remotely and, and, and using this application, the chicken of the VNC clients to access to your Mac machine. You can use some other clients if you like, but um, given that it is still comply with the VNC protocol, just look for the VNC keywords and client and download everything that, that this seems usable and connect to your IP address of your uh, Mac machine. And from this, you'll need to know your um, public IP addresses and to set, make a configuration to your local routers um, to forward that port to, to, to your um, applications. So this is another matter. Here we are going to demonstrate only the way how to like allow VNC access to your Mac machine. So here we press connect and the weird effects appear because we are connecting the same machine we are being right now. So let's um, turn off the application for the moment. So we are done. Um, I wish all of you good luck in your um, remote desktop. I better say enjoy. All right, so see you later. Bye bye.